Hey people, how's it going? I haven't done a video in a while, like a week and a half. I just don't know what to talk about. I just got back from Crip Camp, Cripple Camp, with a bunch of people in wheelchairs, and the disabled. It was pretty awesome, it was pretty rocking time. Yeah, I hung out with my friend TJ, His, he's in a wheelchair too, and his legs don't work. We were only there for six days. And it was pretty fun. We sleep in cabins. And all, I had like counselors or like people that work at the camp. <laughs> they were from England and Germany and a bunch of places, Scotland even. They are crazy about soccer. And they got really mad at me when I told them that we almost beat them in soccer. Or football, as they would call it. No. You almost didn't win. No. If we did win, they would be pissed. And we left on the 4th of July, and I made fun of them again. Because we're in America. Yeah, remember that time back in uh, uh, the Revolutionary War? When we were throwing tea in the ocean, and fighting the Brits. Remember when um, we became our own country and kicked your asses out? That was glorious and epic. And I want to thank you, America. I don't know if I ever said it, America, but I'm sorry I didn't get you a gift, but happy birthday, America! Yeah, I was on camp, wasn't I? A juggler came. You know how someone who juggles stuff, like balls? He was juggling balls and rings. He could juggle up to about five things. And he had a wicked cool unicycle. And all he did was make jokes about, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, I guess it's a one-eyed monster. Oh, that's what she said. I saw him in the bar, and I had... Maybe way too many. I said that he should juggle a chainsaw, a baby, and a cat. The cat and the baby would be the hardest part. Because, you know, the babies, it's kind of weird to hold, and the cat would just be it, might be... it might claw the baby. But, you know, if you dropped all three of them at once, maybe the, the chainsaw would cut the cat in half. That would be awesome. Um... Yeah, I'll I'll get on that. <laughs> yeah, I had a ball of Jim Beam. That was bad. I went to bed drunk every night. I don't know why, I just did. And I'd just wake up in the middle of the night and be like, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm camping in the at my camp. Sorry people, I don't know what to say. I just I'm shy and I'm just shy and I don't know how to open up to you people in the YouTube community. I mean, I'm trying my best. What do you want from me? What do you want? What else did I do at Cripple Camp? I went on the boat. I drove my wheelchair under the pontoon boat. And we drove to get ice cream. They took us out to get ice cream. We got to the, the other camping place that had the ice cream. As we go like, across the lake in the pontoon boats. And we get on the beach and we're just parked there. The boats and all the normal people are looking at us. All weird. I sat next to a blind girl on the, on the boat ride over. She was hysterical. She gave me all these good ideas about cartoons. How being blind is kind of weird at times and kind of cool. She said that she'd like to see a cartoon with with a blind person who lives in a mansion, a huge mansion, and they get lost in one room, they get lost in a room each week, and they just don't know where they are in the house, and they're just lost in a different room each week. I thought that was clever. That was very clever. I like I like you. I like your ideas. I think you've got some good ideas. I don't know if you can say blind anymore. 
is it is it vision impaired? Because I'm telling you, that's whack. He's physically disabled. I'm crippled, okay? I'm in a wheelchair. I don't care. You can call me a gimp. I don't care. Mr. Gimpy, I don't care. We had a banquet on the last night. It was 007 themed. Casino Royale. I met this one guy there who liked to make bread. He likes making bread. He enjoys the process of bread making. The art of bread making. What he ran at camp was uh, aquatics, the waterfront, and on like the last day we did uh, baking bread. I don't know what it has to do with waterfront, but it was fun. Because we got to eat bread. There's a band that played too, a cover band. And they were pretty good. They didn't play any Slayer or any death metal. At the end, they won request and I told them to play Freebird. And they didn't. I was very. I was. It was. I was okay about it, but. I really wanted to hear that. It's a classic. Yeah, they're a pretty good band. I told the can the counselors. And the campers that my favorite band, favorite bands were Dying Fetus and Goat Whore. They didn't think those were real bands. They're, they're real. Don't people know anything nowadays? Goat Whore. They're like a really good band. Goat Whore. They were like, you listen to weird bands, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to start getting... Told them that I like death metal and that my favorite bands were Dying Fetus and Goat Whore. They didn't think those were real bands. But they are. Goat Whore. Goat Whore. Goat Whore. What else? Yep, they show me. He sh Yeah, told, yeah, they told me that I should listen to birth metal. Yeah, there should be... They gotta listen to some birth metal. You got death metal, and then, of course, there's the opposite of that. Birth metal. I mean, you should know those people. Birth metal. Yeah, they got me into soccer. Well, they didn't really get me into it, because I can't kick a ball. I can't lift my feet off the ground. I can't do it. I can't. So overall, I've been going to this camp for about, like, more than maybe 15 years or something. And it's a good place to go. I'd rather hang out with, uh, wheelchair people than normal people. Because wheelchair people know what's up. Yeah, the other good thing about going there is there's some pretty hot, there's some pretty hot girl counselors. I mean, they get paid to talk to you, but, but, you know, they love me. They love me. I love going to camp. Camping. Pine tree camp. Yeah. Peel, peel, bananas. Go, 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 bananas.